Is Jesus the only way to God? A 2008 survey asked which religions can lead to eternal life. 52% of all US Christians surveyed think that at least some non-Christian faiths can lead to eternal life. Approximately 44% of Christians surveyed said that Islam and Hinduism can lead to eternal life. 43% said no religious faith can lead to eternal life. And 32% said atheism can lead to eternal life. This result is interesting because the holy writings of the Christian faith teach that the only way to God and eternal life is through Jesus Christ. The Bible records these words from Jesus in John chapter 14 and verse 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Anyone can say this. But the resurrection of Jesus from the dead showed that he is the Son of God, and he has authority to make this claim. Are Christians proud and narrow-minded for saying that Jesus is the only way to forgiveness and eternal life? I don't think so. The important focus should be how our sins are forgiven and how we receive eternal life. Judaism, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism and atheism, among others, do not accept Jesus as God. They also don't agree that accepting Jesus is the only way to be accepted by God. If these other religions are true, then Christianity is wrong. So is it proud and narrow-minded for other religions to say that Jesus is not God and that Christianity is wrong? Another difference between Christianity and other religions is how sins are forgiven and how we are saved and have eternal life. In all other religions, it is through doing good works or a mix of good works with faith that provides forgiveness and salvation. But Christianity is different. In Christianity, it is a free gift God gives us because he loves us. It is Jesus alone who did the good works for us and died to pay the penalty for our sins. We accept this free gift in faith. Any sin needs God's forgiveness to wipe out the sin. Doing a good work does not balance off the bad work. You can choose to believe anything you want, but if the evidence contradicts your opinion, then your opinion is wrong. Likewise, when different religions lead you in totally opposite directions, they are not going to end at the same destination. Someone has to pay the price for our wrongdoing that separated us from God. And Jesus, by his sinless life and because he is God, is the only one qualified to be our substitute. If there had been any other way for people to be forgiven, Jesus would not have died. No other religion has a God who died to save them. That is the situation, and this truth makes Christianity different from all other religions.